This doesn't feel like the most glamorous way to be starting this vlog, but it's been, it's, I feel like it, I say it's been a week. It's Tuesday morning, but it feels like it's been a week. We've had a rough couple nights and last night we had a big tornado warning and Phoebe was already past her bedtime, falling asleep. And I had to like basically wake her up and like take her into the basement. So nobody likes being waken up, especially when they're just about to fall asleep when they're overtired. So if we could have no more tornado warnings for a bit, that would be good. My battery's dying, so I gotta change. Okay. I'm back again. Okay, so Phoebe is at my parents' house today, but she's only doing like, she's doing a shorter day than normal. So I don't have as much time, but I had to go somewhere. So I was like stopping in places on the way. Anyway, I stopped at TJ Maxx. They had so much Halloween stuff and like, you know how much self-control I need around Halloween. The only like actual Halloween thing I got isn't even a decoration. I got this. Big Boo Little Boo matching mug set, so. And this was $6.99, which I feel like for two mugs, that's a pretty decent price. I got Halloween Dashing Demon Nails. I have been feeling like not like myself, and I think I just need to do my nails. And I thought having these to wear in October would make me happy. So this one is, I'm guessing these are like last year's collection. What is this one called? This one's called, do they like have a name? I don't know they don't have any but this one has like sparkles and bats and this one has like moons and shimmers and stuff i grabbed one makeup product for myself i grabbed the dark brown arches and halos brow pencil i used to have this brow pencil but in a lighter shade and i think i'd really like dark brown because i remember this being a good pencil this is on sale for 5.99 phoebe really likes bath bombs so i grabbed this set that has waffle shaped bath bombs and then we've never tried this dry roasted edamame i thought maybe phoebe would like that so We'll see. That's when TJ Maxx haul. Then I went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree had so much Halloween stuff. Mainly I got like craft projects for Phoebe. Weirdly, they like moved around a lot of aisles to make one aisle things that are $3 and $5. That aisle was all Halloween stuff. I didn't get anything from that aisle, but like stuff looked nice, but I was surprised. I didn't know Dollar Tree was doing that. Crafty things I got. I picked out some felt stickers. I tried to pick like one thing in each category because like Things like this, like they had a bunch of different like pictures, but I picked only one. So I picked her the painting ghost. This was a marker one. This one has ghosts and a kitty cat. They had a bunch of these paper plate projects. Um, this one is a pumpkin paper plate project. This one's a turkey. So when we get closer to Thanksgiving. As far as like wooden things go, I did get her, they had a bunch of masks. So I got her one that's a cat. And then this, they had a bunch of like really big ones. So I thought a pumpkin would be a good one to decorate. And then maybe we could hang it up later. I grabbed some fake flowers for some photos I want to get. And I ha sometimes have really bad luck with the outdoor garden things, but this one's metal. So I'm hoping maybe it'll hold it better. The one I got last year did not withstand the weather, but hoping this one will. And then I did get her in the toy section, these two little Barbie things. She can't really do like Barbie's clothes yet. So I thought she would like this one was just like sunglasses. It looks like a headband and some necklaces things that she could probably do and a little pet for Barbie because right now the Barbie she has is a little doggy. So I thought she'd like a little bunny pet too. So that's my haul. I have other, I have other stuff I need to get done today. So I'll show you some of that later, but this is like my today stuff. Okay. By the time this video goes up, the a launch will have already happened for these Halloween teas. I'm guessing she's going to do a second launch. So this is from Mommy Realist, she's an Instagram mom. Um, if you saw my In My Mom Era shirt, it's the same person. So that shirt I had regular cut in a medium. So I got two Halloween shirts. The first one I got a regular cut in a small and it says Nightmare Before Coffee. These are like really nice quality shirts. It's comfort colors. So they're like thicker. They're not the kind of shirts where like you wash them so often and eventually they're like you know, when it, like a shirt gets see-through because it doesn't wash too much. Then this one I also got in a medium, but I opted for it to be cropped. So on me, it should still fit like a regular length shirt. But this is similar to how I have the other mommy shirt, except this one, the lettering, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, it's got like a puffed detailing to it. So I'm very excited for these shirts. But yeah, they're launching the 13th. So you're seeing this after then. I do have a code. I post everything on my Instagram stories. It's not affiliated. It's just a code for you guys. The Burke. Okay, 
I'm filming this with my old tripod, so we'll see how it goes. But I got a dress delivered yesterday. It was super discounted when I got it. So like all the colors I wanted were selling out. So I wound up getting white, which is not normally a dress color I buy. But I have a lot of trouble finding long dresses since I'm 5'2". So let me show you this dress I found. I'm really digging it. I love how like flowy it is. I feel like I could just like do a dance. However, like I said, I'm 5'2 and it comes, I don't know if you can see, like right at ankle length for me, it has pockets if that's a selling point for you. I really like the spot that it cuts. I'm not usually a frilly sleeve person, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a little girly in this one. I'm not sure where I would wear it because white is hard. I feel like I can't wear it to any type of like wedding type of event not like the wedding but like i have a rehearsal dinner i have the brunch the morning after maybe i'd wear it to the brunch the morning after i don't know but like i'm really digging it i did get a size medium and i felt like that was the right choice uh it definitely obviously needs to be steamed but that's easy enough i put it on last night when it got delivered and phoebe and i was like twirling and phoebe grabbed my hands and started singing beauty of the beast and then i asked her who which character if i was beauty or the beast and she told me the beast Beast gives this one a positive review. It did come in other colors. Like I said, when they were having the sale, like the colors were selling out, but I really wanted the green and the pink, but I'm feeling the white. I'm gonna do my nails really quick. I'm gonna do a Dashing Diva shade. I wanted to look through what I had and like pick something a little bit more colorful since it's like the end of summer. And I have this shade, which is almost like a mint color it's called iced mint so i'm gonna do that really quick it usually takes me somewhere between five and ten minutes and then i will show you how it looks okay nails are done i really am liking this color i probably should throw if i throw in like a fresh self tan sometime this week too i think it'll make that color pop a little bit more too i have a video to edit so I'm gonna try to get some of that done today. We'll see what happens. She's currently in a band-aid phase where the band-aids go on everyone but her. He's sleeping back there, doesn't even know he has a band-aid on him. We just all have a lot of boo-boos. So you might find this funny. Today's actually my half birthday and I don't know when we came up with this tradition but we get Chickie and Pete's crab fries on our half birthdays. It's like a Philadelphia area thing specifically. But Scott is picking them up right now and I discovered that the Barbie movies soundtrack is on Spotify. So I'm just having a dance party by myself. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, I am on my way to get my bridesmaid's dress altered, which is something I've been procrastinating more than anything else in my life. I hate going to tailors and getting alterations. The last one I went to was January 2018 before my younger brother's wedding. I just, I hate going to tailors. I don't know, I just tried to find one close to me. It's so expensive getting things tailored for like one event. Like I know the tailoring, for me at least, usually costs more than the actual dress. Oh, I'm just, I'm not looking forward to this. And I hope it doesn't take too long. Yeah, I guess I can report back afterwards. Well, I was right to be not wanting to do that. The alterations cost not quite three times the price of the dress. But I knew it was going to be crazy expensive and I'm just like irritated. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this. I never had a wedding, so I'm not like Miss Wedding over here. But like between like my dress, hair and makeup, Scott's outfit and everything, like we're putting like over a thousand dollars into this wedding. Is it okay if I just give my sister-in-law and future brother-in-law like a card that says congrats? Like do I actually have to give a gift because... I mean, we're a single income family over here with a kid. <laughs> like, that's a lot of money for us. I don't even like the dress. That's the problem. Like, I don't like the color. Like, I wish I could wear it somewhere else, but like, it's like this olive green color. Ugh. I'm just not a wedding person. I don't know. Sound off in the comments on your opinions because I'm <laughs> feeling financially drained from a green dress. So Scott's making birth two two rolls again. This is with Tower to discard. But I wanted to show everyone. That to be perfect for Noah, for Rachel's brother. Scott upgraded his flower storage to have wheels now. So now he has traveling flower. This is his flower. I used to think I was the baker, but I never had this much need for flower. Hey. 
Uh, I think this is my first time making Bertucci rolls on the vlog, is it? You showed making them, but you never showed, like, the after. Okay, well, now, this time I put in some sourdough discard in it. And so we're gonna see how that turned out. This is gonna be the first time tomorrow that, that Rachel's little brother gets to taste test them, which whenever we would like go out as like a family and I would sit, you know, near him or, or whatever and we would joke about, I guess, we would, what was the joke? That we, that just that we would eat the bread and we would like it. <laughs> I don't know if that was the joke. Like that was just a joke. We would be like, oh, Bertucci's has good bread or, or Carabas has really good bread. So then like I got into baking and I was like, oh, I want to try and, you know, duplicate those, those rolls. I did it a couple times now and now I'm doing a twist on it with, with the sourdough discard and he's coming over tomorrow to taste test them and see if they live up to the uh, the name, I guess, the legend, I don't know. I, I think they're pretty good, so we'll see. So anyway, this is what it looks like. So this is gonna be the first time, too, also that I'm, I'm making them not leaving the dough in the fridge every night. So we'll see again, you know, how, how this goes. There's actually a lot of different factors here. A little bit of time lapse now, I guess. I feel like I got hit by a bulldozer. We were up like a lot um, last night, so I am feeling really rough. It's almost seven o'clock and I really could go to bed for the night. I got a PR package in the mail. So this is from I Am Proud, which as far as I know, I'm yeah, this is a um, Walmart brand. I got a package from Hair Proud last month. And I'm actually, I just washed my hair with the shampoo. I haven't cracked into the conditioner yet. I have like a little bit of my current conditioner open, but I actually have really been enjoying the shampoo from them. But they sent me this package with a bunch of stuff. This is a bright eye pomegranate gel cream. So I guess this is a eye cream. It says it has 2%, 2% niacinamide. Uh, oh my God. This is a hair revival leave-in scalp hair moisturizer repairs damage and restores scalp and hair health i have never had i don't think i've ever used anything like that before that sounds pretty cool this is serve the glow dry body oil vitamin c and sweet almond oil that sounds nice busy citrus after cleansing apply directly on the body and massage into skin that sounds nice this is Smooth Talk Exfoliating Body Serum. Gently exfoliates, brightens, and smooths with AHA caffeine and niacinamide. After cleansing and before moisturizing, apply to the body two to three times a week, followed by an SPF. So I almost wonder if you could use the body serum and then put the oil over top. They sound like they would go well together. And then the last thing in here is some stickers, which will go to Phoebe. <laughs> this is cute, actually, this little paper here looks like a locker. I think this is supposed to be like back to school. This was a cool one to receive. What's been going on? <laughs> Tomorrow, I think we're going to Scott's sister's house in the afternoon for a little. I'm like so wiped out. I don't know if Scott showed you the final product of the rolls, but we gave them to my family today. They really liked it. Hey, I am making challah today, I'm doing it the braid a little differently. Same dough, just doing the braid a little different. I did a four strand braid here, and I'm gonna do another four strand, but I'm gonna do a, a, a round challah, so you can see how that looks. we're having one of those days where it feels like all the plans we made have been throttled by a very very cranky tired cranky toddler so that's today uh i am supposed to liven up the vlog with what i'm making now so i made the hala this morning and we ate the round braid i mean it tastes the same so it was great and then we gave the other one to my sister 
It, it, you saw how they looked? They looked good. So I was looking up, if you guys remember, we made the babka. No one remembers. Back in, no if you've been around this for a while, we made, we made babkas. It was like beginning of pandemic, like everyone, you know, was vegan and, and stuff. So we made babka and it was, it was quite the experience. Uh, so I was looking up vegan babka and I was like, oh my God, it's the same, uh, I think her name is Dutch Gothis. Got Dutch, I think that's what it is. Dutch Goth, the Dutch Gothis. Anyway, we'll link it below. Um, the Goth Duchess. The Goth Duchess? Is that Dutch what it is? Dutch Gothis is an old term. The Goth Duchess? Hang on, I'm gonna, hang on, Gothis I'm gonna tell you. Isn't this is really, it's Duchess offensive to her. So I've, Cause I've been making her, her challah and it's really good. The domestic Gothis. So she has a vegan babka on there. I'm like, oh my God, I've been looking for, Babka, vegan babka. Her chal is really good. I'm sure Why this don't you just babka is really good. Maybe it will. Follow her on Instagram. It's all it takes. I think I've done this on the vlog before where I, so I, a Rachel actually got me a rotisserie chicken earlier this week. And so I ate all the dark meat and I don't really like light meat. So I looked up what can I do with the carcass and I make a, uh, here you can see it. So this is the uh, carcass is in there with salt, pepper, celery flakes. I, I just got a bunch of carrots and I peeled the, the skin off, the, the outside off and I put that in and then I did half of an onion. And so that with, with the carcass and all the bones, that is now boiling for a half hour. It's actually 30 seconds left. And this is bone broth. It's chicken noodle soup. Chicken, no, chicken noodle soup. Chicken, chicken bone broth, chicken bone broth. And it's so good. I put it with the the leftover uh, chicken breast, the, the white meat. And hopefully this is still good, but this is the um, Echo Stop. Uh, this is the pack of uh, noodles I was using. So it's literally, I literally just do that. I put these noodles in. I think we got these at Target. Chow mein stir fry noodle with, with the white meat. That's it, like those three things and like, phew, so good. So if I make it uh, later this week, cause like I can, that, that, the noodles just, you know, last however long noodles last. And that chicken, I guess the chicken is the only thing that's kind of dependent on like, uh, if th that, that can go bad. Cause the, the broth, that'll last for a, a while. I don't know how long, but longer than the chicken will last. So if I make it uh, this week, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to show you. I feel like this will be a good way to end the vlog. I have a thread up order that just got delivered. Thread up's an online thrift shop. I have a referral code down, down below. I think it saves you $10 off your first order. I've been shopping at thread up like five years now. This tank top I'm wearing right now is a Abercrombie shirt from thread up. I got some stuff for Phoebe, some stuff for me. Got her a, this is from Old Navy. It's 4T princess shirt. She already <laughs> asked to try that one on today. I got her this like fleecy jacket and a 4T. This is the champion brand that they sell at Target. And I also got her some snow boots. I try really hard to remember to get snow boots in the summer time before like the crazy snow boot rush comes along. Um, this brand says Circo and I got her a size bigger than I think she'll be. So there's room for big socks and everything. Pretty sure that was all Phoebe stuff. The rest of the stuff is for me. Sometimes I just need like a refresh. And I do this like two times a year. And I just like need a little refresh. This is from the brand Nero Kitty. I don't know that brand, but it's just a like V-neck navy blue shirt. This, oh, this is a dress. This is the brand Bellamy. I don't know that brand, but it's just like, um, it's like a racer back. It's just like a long black maxi dress. This is from Abercrombie and this is just a gray shirt. I think it's so funny that Abercrombie's in again. Like when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was wear Abercrombie and now it's like the thing again. This is from Express. It's like a sweater for the winter. Uh, this is from Gap and this is just like a lighter tank. This is, I also think, I think the rest is Abercrombie, yeah. This is like a, I think it's kind of like a three quarter length that's got bell sleeves. And then one last Abercrombie top that is striped. It also has the moose. That is that. We have a much less cranky toddler today, which makes it a little bit easier. That 
actually a good night's sleep last night for probably, I feel like it was the first like really good night's sleep we got all week. So I'm gonna assume that's why we're not as cranky today. I still feel tired, but like, I don't remember the last time I didn't feel tired. So I'm gonna go reheat my coffee and edit this vlog. And I'll see you in the next vlog.